Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange, True Colors. In the last episode, we came clean about knowing Ethan was going into the mines, so now that's where we're at. We're trying to find him in the mines, and at least they said they'd hold off any blasting until he was fa found, which is awesome, so at least we have ample time to find him. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now, so let's just get in it, you guys. Okay, I did change the settings to automatically mute, mute licensed music because at least then you can still hear what's being said um, instead of me going back and muting it myself. Nope. 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 Super nope. Huh. <laughs> Super nope for a positive attitude? Okay. Um... How do you run? Okay, there we go. I just want to look at stuff really quick. Will we though? No trespassing. This area is private property of type and mining. Only authorized type and personnel are permitted. Violators will be prosecuted. She's very sassy. Okay. Oh my god, I'm hitting bloodborne controls. Cool. A murder barn. What? What else we can look at? Nothing. God, it's gonna go in another cutscene. I really just wanna. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Oh, it's a fucking skank, is she now? Don't know who that is. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Oh wow. Well. You don't realize until you're up close. But mining equipment is super murdery. The real monster here is underage drinking. What, people are camping hey, out here? bro. You wanna get wasted at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Mm. Let's look at this. Come on. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Um, can I do anything with my powers out here? I just wanna look. No? I feel like I need to use my powers to save Ethan though. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Uh, oh. <gasps> How do I do it? X? Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. No. Wow. We raised Once our safe, drinks I'll raise to too. Who at this location on December 30, 2008, pulled us out of hell. Look. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. What happened here? Gotta find him. Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the campfire. Oh, the trail. Hey, there's... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. Sorry. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. 
Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. Hmm. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe okay. I should compare his drawing. Oh, I cut you off. Sorry, lady. Well, it said there was a trail leading here, right? Can I get in here? No? I guess let's go compare um, this. Oh, wait. So if the zombie is here, then... Campfire... What? To the right of the van. If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. Okay. So this way. It's here. But this is the way out. That doesn't make sense. says to his left. Should it be, oh, should I move this? Wait, so did Ethan? Mm. Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. <laughs> Maybe. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. Mm -hmm. How did he get out? I'm a hundred percent sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Anne, you okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. What was the response? Oops. Have I got some good news for you? <laughs> Legalize it. What? What? Go with red. It's always red. Uh oh. Dang. Back to the drawing board. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ew, Dead Crow. Uh, let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Oh, shoot. 
Okay. What else we got in here? A mattress. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on. Okay. Okay. So we did that. It looks like some little overhang thing. Is it this? It's a crash to the ceiling. So does that mean? Can I compare it? I don't know. Shouldn't do anything. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Okay. Let's go. I wish you could run. You don't run. Okay, let's go up here. Wait, is it this? Oh, it's this, right? And this stair? Wait, before I do that, I want to go look up here. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Okay, we're gonna compare the stairs. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these. Sorry. I didn't think it was gonna stop the audio. So loud. Okay, let's go. Okay, went up the stairs. Cloud Serpent. He got on something and slid down. More stairs? Huh. Taker. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt. Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Hmm. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Heads up. Truth. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. <laughs> Who knew? Where wonders never cease. We passed caution like an hour ago. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Standing on it. And or riding a moving conveyor belt can result in injury or death. Type of mining is not legally liable for the medical costs incurred by employees who use conveyor belts improperly. That means people must have done it for you to have to put a sign up, right? Okay, let's go. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. Let's go. What took you so long? Uh. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Mm. Where to next, Alex?
Okay, up there. God, I thought it crashed. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. We can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. How old is this kid? He doesn't have a phone. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 Oh, wow. Oh, is he scared? Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! <gasps> He's, like, really scared. Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. His fear is so strong. If I get near it. It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Oh, shit. It's one thing just crossing over, but to have this fear in you. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. <laughs> you okay? No. Honestly? No. That feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Mm. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece mm. of cake. <laughs> Oh God, no. Oh. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Can I die here? You got this, Alex. Oh, I gotta stop. Go back. You will get hurt. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. I don't want to like Girl, I'm almost there. Almost 
Voltaire. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? Did you see me coming down this log? I'm super balanced. No, 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 no. I can hear it down there. Hear what? Doesn't matter. Just gotta get him out of here. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. Uh. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. Alex? 
Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. I know. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. One step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? No. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Shit. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. I'm scared that if I keep it forward that something bad's gonna happen. Come on. Oh, I wish I could look around. I can't even look around. <gasps> what was that? Ethan, you should just fucking run. Get it over with. That's it. Oh my god, thank you. Come on, there you go. I got you. God, I'd like throw up after that. Oh shit. Why is it morning? Could I have prevented that? a part inside of me that's like he's not dead is he dead I'm not big on speeches I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. 
I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. Mm. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Hmm. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Why? I don't remember. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. Oh, I wasn't. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. What? This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Or oh, shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Why are you even Watch there? Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry, it's not, I'm just I'm not the one who killed him. 
Oh, he blames himself. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. That was a weird loading part, wasn't it? Why not That's you? Hmm. Wake's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Yeah, well, sort of. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Tilly wiped out. That was hilarious. She has a tattoo. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? He actually kept it. What a dick. Sorry. I just need a minute. Yeah, uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. Hmm. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad?
I can find out what's really going on with Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Mm, it's a trophy. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aw, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. This, maybe? <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Uh, so he won, so she stayed? Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Mm. She was gonna go to Denver. Is there anything else? Is this the last one? What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. <laughs> First to five points, if you say so. Do I have to play? Here's L2, L1, R1, and R2. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. I don't even know. Uh, uh. You were in a band, right? Yeah. I got it. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Haha. <laughs> It tells you at the bottom which one it is. I win. Five points. That's game. Yep. Big shocker. Okay, Aww. at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is?
Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Again? I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Dang it. Certainly not. Damn it. Uh, so it's like a warm up. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know, Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. We're gonna lose. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. No! Uh. Hey, so are you into girls or what? I don't. What do you mean? I don't. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio you stations. You need to stop and talking. wear beanies. Like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. I'm gonna lose. I told you I'm gonna lose. I don't even know what's being said. Oh my god. Who's <gasps> what? How convinced were you that that was gonna work? From one to ten. Like a three. That's <gasps> one zero. I'm, I lost. Oh, <laughs> fucking finally! <laughs> the house of Chen crumbles at last! <laughs> Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do mm. know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. It's turning into a mystery. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Sweet. 
I know Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Hmm. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end the episode right here. I don't know if that was supposed, like, if it was inevitable for Gabe to die or if it's my fault because I never told him about Ethan until the very last moment. And he said he made the call. Why would he lie about making the call if he didn't? So it's kind of turning into a mystery, kind of find, finding out more clues. I really love her powers. It's pretty cool. You can re reach in to people and try to help them kind of thing. And... Steph seems really cool. I know she was a character in Before the Storm. Uh, Life is Strange. So she's pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking we're going to be telling her about her, our powers. And it makes me wonder back when we told Gabe about our foster background. If we would have chose to tell him about our powers. How would he take that? Like, I'm sorry, but usually, like, in movies and games like that, they're like, I don't believe you kind of thing, you know? So, I don't know. This one was very sad. I, I did not think he was going to die. I mean, come on. Does everybody hate me now? Because I feel like it's my fault because I let Ethan go into the mines and we had to go after him. But we need to figure out this mystery. It need to be solved. You need to know exactly what happened or close your purposes. Well, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.